ACPI, or Advanced Configuration and Power Interface, is a standard that was first released in 1996, and we still use it today. A long time ago, and I'm talking about a really long time ago, so way before ACPI was released, all computers used to be desktop computers, or at least computers that would always stay roughly in the same place, and they would always be plugged into a power outlet. And therefore, power consumption wasn't really an issue, because the computer basically had infinite power at its disposal all the time. But that changed with the introduction of laptop computers, and when laptop computers became more and more popular, power consumption became an issue because a laptop needs to run off a battery and therefore the battery needs to last as long as possible so it's awful if the if the computer uses so much power that it just drains the battery within an hour so suddenly computers needed to be a lot more power efficient they needed to use less power and maintain the same performance. People soon realized that computers were actually wasting an enormous amount of energy because a computer is a very versatile device so it contains lots of different components for all kinds of stuff that it can, that it can do. The problem is you're not using those components all the time. You're not using your optical drive all the time because you're not playing CDs constantly on your computer. You're not using that extra hard drive that your photos are stored on all the time. You only use it when you want to view the pictures. So, but these devices are always turned on when your computer is on. And so they're always using electricity and therefore they're wasting power. So the following idea was created and that was, wouldn't it be nice if the operating system of the computer, so Windows or Linux or Mac OS, whatever, would be able to shut down parts of the computer that were doing nothing. So what, wouldn't it be nice if the operating system could say, well, that optical drive is not being used, let's turn it off, or that hard drive is not being used, let's turn it off, that sort of thing. And so people came up with several systems and standards, and one of these standards was the ACPI standard. So the ACPI standard is something that allows the operating system of the computer to control the power state of the hardware and therefore do power management in order to make the computer more efficient. So first of all, ACPI has so-called G states. So these are global states for the entire computer. G0 means the computer is on. G1 means the computer is in sleep mode, which is then subdivided into four sleep modes that are called S states. And then there is also uh, G2, which means the computer is off, and G3, which basically means the computer is mechanically unplugged. Now realize that this is also the reason why you're able to shut down your computer using a click of a mouse or touching the screen or whatever, or a trackpad. If you go to the start menu and you, and you click shut down, your computer actually shuts down. It also physically turns off, and that is also thanks to ACPI. If you turn off ACPI, what you'll get is the operating system will shut down like it would normally do, and it would save all its stuff, and it would clean up and go through the whole shutdown process. But then it would not actually turn off the PC. It would give you a screen that would tell you you may now safely turn off the power, and then you have to manually turn it off. Because without ACPI, the operating system cannot do power management, and turning off the hardware, turning off the system, is also a form of power management. ACPI also supports a number of D states, which are for specific devices in the computer. So D0, the device is on, and then D1 is some standby mode or something like that, and so on. C states are exactly the same as D states, but they're specifically for CPUs, only CPUs. And then there are also P states. Now, these are performance states, and they're basically subcategories of the C0 state. So the C0 state means the CPU is turned on, and then this can be subdivided into the P states, where P0 means the processor is at its maximum frequency, so maximum performance, and then P1 can be a lower level of performance, P2 an even lower level, and so on. And 
So many people just take this for granted that a modern CPU changes changes its frequency to save power. So when there is nothing to do, the frequency goes down and that saves energy. Well, that basically means it's going to a lower or actually a higher P state. Right? If it goes to P4 instead of P0, it's a higher P state, but it means lower performance, obviously. So that's basically what ACPI is. It's this open standard that allows an operating system to perform power management. And therefore, we can now use software to make our computer more energy efficient. So we do not have to make some dramatic efficiency boost in the hardware. We don't have to redesign a CPU to make it 200% more efficient. No, we can just perform a little bit of software tweaking and make the thing use way less power. Now, ACPI is not uncriticized. It's definitely not a flawless system and it, it has a lot of flaws and it has received a lot of criticism uh, from a lot of people because it's, it's not perfect, right? What it does is a good thing, but the way it does so isn't perfect in many ways. But the reason we're still using it is because so many computers are compatible with it. If we would suddenly, please come back lighting. If we, the, the computer screens are my lighting, by the way. If we would suddenly switch over to some different standard, we would need to change all the hardware and all the software, and that's kind of a hassle. So it will probably happen at some point, but for now, we're still using ACPI, and it works quite well. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.